Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Python programming. In this video we will be covering the topic of packages. Now what if we developed a, a very large application in Python that contains many different modules and we have so many different modules that have similar names and functionalities and they're all kept in like or dumped in the same location that it becomes very difficult to track these modules. What if there was a way to organize and access these in a much simpler and more organized manner? Well packages allow us to do just that. Packages are a hierarchical structuring of the module namespace using dot notation. And this is the same dot notation that we use when we want to access methods or functions that are part of other classes or modules. So let's try to, uh, let's look at certain examples to understand what we mean. So I have a directory called pkg. This can be basically treated as what we call a package. Now in our package, we have two modules, mod1.py and mod2.py. And what we're going to store in mod1 and mod2.py are the follows. So I'm going to define a function called foo and I'm going to print uh, this particular statement, mod1, and then I'm going to basically say foo. Um, and then I'm going to say in class foo, I'm going to have an empty pass command. Similarly, I'm going to define a function called bar in mod2.py where I'm going to print this statement. So basically mod1.py has a simple function where I'm going to print this statement and mod2.py has a simple function that I'm going to print this statement. Um, and I'm going to store them in mod1 and mod2.py respectively. And these two modules I'm going to store in the directory pkg in my local folder. Now I've already done this so we can already get uh, to working with this. Now if I wanted to access these particular modules from the pkg folder, I can simply use the import command and use the dot notation. So I can say pkg dot mod one. So this will invert, this will um, import the mod one module from pkg folder. Similarly, I can do the same thing for the mod two uh, module from the pkg folder in the same line. So now that it's been imported, just simply execute this and this imports whatever you needed. Now, if we wanted to, um, perform a function that was a part of uh, mod1.py, we can just extend the dot uh, notation and use the function as over here. As you can see, it performs this print command, whatever it was supposed to do. Similarly, I can invoke the function uh, that was part of the mod2 module uh, by extending the dot notation to it in the same way. Now, another way that I can invoke um, I can import a package is by directly importing the package itself by using import pkg and uh, not accessing any of the specific modules within it. Now let's see what happens when we do this. So just for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the kernel so that uh, the pkg uh, modules that were already imported uh, get cleaned away. So we see what happens when we execute this on its own. Now if you see, I have imported this. Now let's see if I can access uh, my mod1 and mod2. Now if you see here, it's throwing me an error. And this is because using simply using the import command on a particular package only imports, um, you could say the package namespace, but it does not actually import any of the modules and files that were part of this package. So if I wanted mod1 uh, from this package, I would have to actually say import pkg.mod1 directly. Um, and I cannot simply say import pkg and uh, Python will not import everything that is part of a package on its own. I have to specify it myself. Um, specifically. Now I'm going to create and I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to show you another type of importing from a package using the star operator. So I have this package pkg once again. Now I'm going to store um, three, I mean, four different modules within this package mod111.py, mod222.py. And I've already done this. So you don't need to bother about um, um, seeing me doing it right now because I've already created these files and what I've done is within mod111.py I've defined, I've, I've written this statement and I've stored it in the Python script. Similarly, I've created another Python script, script called mod222.py and I have basically written this in the code and I've similarly done this for mod333.py and I've done another for mod4.py. Now, once I have done this, I've stored these Python scripts into my, uh, into my package or uh, pkg uh, package. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to execute this command. If you see this from pkg dot mod three, three, three import star. So once I execute this, now I'm going to say print directory and print directory basically will tell me all the functions that exist in my current directory. If you see here, there's this bash function that was a part of mod three, three, three module. Now, if I change this and if, if I imported mod one, 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 and if I did the same thing, you will see foo has now been added as a part of this direction directory. And these are all uh, functions that are part of these different modules where I'm importing from. And that is what the star function does. What the star function will do is it will basically tell Python 
okay so this statement is saying from pkg mod 111 so it's saying that um, okay look into this directory or this uh, package and find this module and in this module import everything that exists inside it up until this point so this is another uh, another way of basically importing uh, files or functions uh, from a particular package and a particular specific module within that package. So yeah, this was a very brief video on packages in Python. Uh, the conclusion being that packages are basically a, an organized way of storing many different modules that we might have created in a very large application. Um, and these modules can be accessed using the familiar dot not notation that uh, we have used in other examples, such as methods when we were working with classes and objects. Once again, if you enjoyed this video and you learned from it, please share, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.